Hey guys, Moonblast here, and for today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to reach Exalted with the Shendalar and Raphael Lich King Classic. Located in the ruins of Eldrifalos, which is now known as Dire Mall, we can find most of the remaining Shendalar in the Dire Mall Library. The Shendalar have a vast library of books detailing the history of Azeroth, but some of them have gone missing, so most of our reputation with them will come from entering three different Librams which have gotten lost in the three wings of Dire Mall. But before we get to that, there's a couple quests for us to do. First, we need to do the Elven Legends quest, which you can pick up from Sage Coralusk in Camp Mohachi for Horde, and from Scholar Runethorn in Feathermoon Stronghold for Alliance. This quest has us go into the library in Dire Mall to find Master Telmius Dreamseeker. Master Telmius Dreamseeker has been burned to death, and you'll find his corpse next to Lorekeeper Lydros. Completing this quest has also unlocked the ability for us to turn in Librams to Lorekeeper Lydros. Next, we can do the Pusselin and Elder Ash Torden quest, which is given by Ash Torden, who is located next to the side entrance of Dire Mall East. This quest rewards 500 reputation and has us kill Pusselin in Dire Mall East. You will find Pusselin next to the Dire Mall East main entrance, and from here you will talk to him five times if I'm running each time until he finally stops up here and you can now kill him and loot the Book of Incantations. If you don't have the Crescent Key yet, you can loot it off of him as well. Next, we can also get 500 reputation by turning in our class book to one of the lore keepers in the Dire Mall library, and you should be able to find one on the auction house for cheap. If you can't find one on the auction house, then you'll probably have one drop while farming for Librams. The rest of our reputation with the Shundalar will come from turning in the Librams of Focus, the Librams of Rapidity, and the Librams of Protection to Lorekeeper Lydros, and each turn in gives 500 reputation. So you'll need to turn in 84 Librams to reach Exalted Max Out, or 77 Librams if you're a human. The Libram of Focus and the Libram of Rapidity drop off of Elite Mobs in all three wings of Dire Mall, while the Libram of Protection only drops off of Elite Mobs in Dire Mall West and Dire Mall North, so keep that in mind when farming for them. These Librams can also be purchased off of the Auction House, so check there first to see if you can get a good deal, but they'll probably be about 150 to 200 gold apiece. After running each wing many times, I found Dire Mall West to be the best wing to run due to being able to pull massive packs of mobs. Dire Mall West also links into the library at the end, so you can quickly turn in any Librams that you have on you and vendor your trash to the Shendalar Provisioner. If you want to run Dire Mall North, you can also free Knot with the Gordok Shackle Key, which drops off of everything in Dire Mall North, and this will give 350 reputation to all of the Steamweedle Cartel. You can also vendor your trash to Stomper Krieg after you've become king and if you've left him alive, which is handy. Dire Mall North also connects directly to the library, which gives quick access to turning in Librams and vendoring to the Shendalar Provisioner as well. These Librams are unique, so having the Molly Portable Mailbox is handy so that you can send them to yourself once you have multiple of the same Librum. To turn the Librams in, you'll also need some extra materials, so I recommend having all of the materials already in your bag so you can turn the Librams in when you're passing through the library and when your mailbox is on cooldown. All of the Librams require a pristine black diamond, which you can easily buy off the auction house for cheap, and you'll need 84 of them, or 77 of them if you're a human. Next, the Librum of Protection and the Librum of Rapidity require two large brilliant shards per turn in, while the Librum of Focus requires four brilliant shards per turn in. How many large brilliant shards that you'll need will depend on the combination of Librams that you turn in, but you should be good at about 224 large brilliant shards. Each Librum also requires bind on pickup items, which I'll cover next. The Librum of Protection requires one free Abomination Stitching, which has a 25% drop chance off of Venom Belchers and Bile Spewers, and a 50% drop chance off of Ramstein the Gorger. You can find these Abominations in Slaughter Square and Shrathal Mundead, so just clear the instance until the end to get to them. If you need a guide on how to clear Shrathal Mundead, check out my Rivendaris Death Charger solo guide, which I'll link in the description. Next, we have the Libra of Focus, which requires two Skin of Shadows per turn in. Skin of Shadows have a 25% drop chance off of Risen Constructs and Risen Bone Warders and Skolomance. You can quickly get to the Risen Constructs by jumping off the ledge here, and then running into the room with the Plague Dragonlings, and then dropping down into Rattlegore's room.
You can then loot the key off of Rattlegore and use it to open the viewing room door, and from here you can run to Lady Alucia Barov's room. When your bags get full, you can also equip your Spectral Essence Trinket and vendor your trash to Magnus Frostwake, which is outside Skolomance. Next up, we have the Libram of Rapidity, which requires two Blood of Heroes per turn in. Blood of Heroes are objects that you can pick up off the ground in the Eastern Plaguelands, the Western Plaguelands, and there are a couple spawn locations for them in the Bulwark and Tearsfall Glades. You can track Blood of Heroes by right-clicking on your Questy icon, clicking Advanced Search, and typing in Blood of Heroes. Questy is missing a few Blood of Heroes locations in the Western Plaguelands and a bunch of locations in the Eastern Plaguelands, but it still gives a good route to follow when hunting for them. You can also use Eagle Eye to find them if you want to, and this is useful when you want to check out Blood of Heroes locations that are kind of out of the way. Another tip is to farm for Blood of Heroes while you're waiting for your instance cap per hour to reset. Blood of Heroes can also spawn partially submerged in the ground in some locations, so keep an eye out for that. The Shenjalar do not have any reputation rewards, but once you reach Exalted with them, you'll now be one step closer to getting the Insane and the Membrane Feet of Strength. If you need help with any of the other Insane grinds, check the description and the pinned comment down below and I'll update it once I complete each guide. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.